Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com. Happy Friday. Today I'm going to be sharing with you an adorable card made with the Have a Hoot bundle. This is a fun Halloween and Christmas bundle and we have a stamp set and a set of dies. I'm also going to be telling you all about my newest kit class for September using the Have a Hoot bundle. I think you're going to love it. Let's get this camera flipped around and I'll give you all the deets. Okay, let's talk about this newest kit class. So we have the Have a Hoot stamp set. It's just stinking adorable. I love owls anyways. You get 11 different stamps in this stamp set. We have Halloween and Christmas, so it's super fun. Then we have the Peek-A-Hoot dies. This is part of a bundle, and you get 11, or I'm sorry, 10 different dies in here. One of my favorites is this tag die. Now it not only cuts out the peekaboo windows in a piece of cardstock, but you also get the tags that you can use on any type of project. Let me see if I can find the smallest one. I've got a whole bunch of them cut out here. Oh, I don't have the smallest one here anymore. But anyways, you can see you get a bunch of tags. They're stitched, they're very cute. Oh, here's the little one. I've got one out of white. So there's three different size tags on here. This is very cool. You also get the little spider web here, which I die cut out of our black glitter paper. If you don't have any of this, you definitely want to add it to your order. And then we have some little green sprigs for the different Christmas images. And let me I die cut some of those yesterday. Here's one of them. So they're really cute too. It's going to make great cards, scrapbook pages, treat holders, whatever you need with the stamp set and die set. Now my online class is going to come with a full pack of plaid tidings 6x6 designer series paper. This pack of paper looks like this. You're going to get a full pack. It has 48 sheets of designer paper in it. And you can see here that it coordinates with a ton of our Stampin' Up! colors, which makes creating cards super easy. Also included with the Have a Hoot kit is going to be the Playful Pets trim. You're going to get the black and white striped baker's twine and also the red, this is real red stitched ribbon. This is eighth inch ribbon. Great for Christmas, great for Halloween, fall, Christmas. You'll see what I'm going to do with this to make it match anything I need. Also included with your kit is the all the trimmings embellishments. I thought this would be perfect with the red in here, the white, and then the stars would go great with the Halloween and the Christmas. One last thing. This is a little bonus. This is one of our rectangle tins. This comes in a box with four. And let me find those. I want to say they're $10. $12 for four of them. So they're $3 each where I'm going to include one of these tins in with your kit just as a little bonus. And then I'm going to provide two ideas for the tins, a Christmas idea and a Halloween idea. So that'll be really fun for you to be able to play with. This is just kind of a sampling of what you can do with them. My kit is also going to include enough pre-cut cardstock to make eight cards. There's going to be four different designs. You're going to make two of each. So this kit at $49 is a great value. Now, if you have the Hoot, have a Hoot bundle, you're in good shape. If you don't have the Have a Hoot bundle, you're going to need it to complete this kit class. You can add this onto your kit for $61. That includes tax and shipping and the dies and the stamp set will be shipped out with your kit. I am taking orders up until September 25th and I have been making some extras of my kits because I hate to disappoint people and tell them that I'm sold out. So I've been trying to make extras. So if you're watching this after September 25th, if the kit still shows that it's available on my blog, in the right hand column is an online class tab. If it's still there and you can click and fill out the form to order one, 
then we're in business and that means I still have some available. The kits will go out in the mail the week of September 28th. So we don't have a lot of turnaround time here. Just want to make sure that we are um, on the same page with all the dates so that you know what's going on. I will be mailing out the PDF file with the private videos, some brief written instructions in all the dimensions in case you'd like to make more of these cards after you've completed your kit. That'll go out on September 25th. So this is a pre-order for the Have a Hoot kit. Okay, let's get busy and start stamping. I'm excited to be able to make this card with you today. And don't forget, at the end of my video, there's going to be a link that'll take you to my blog where you can find a link to Ashley Pfeiffer's blog in Canada. She's my partner with the Creativity Without Borders kit class every month. And Ashley has another card using the Have a Hoot bundle that she's going to share with you. And she designs two cards and I design two cards for our monthly kit. So it's, it's a lot of fun you get um, the advantage of having two different styles for the most part is pretty neat too. I am going to grab my piercing mat and I've got all my layers here. This is a pretty peacock layer that's five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to score that, or not score it, we're gonna fold it and burnish that edge, good. And then I have a whisper white layer that's four by five and a quarter. You guys know all these dimensions and still photos and a shopping list can be found on my blog also for all of my YouTube videos. Then I'm gonna use this pretty paper and I love that it's a little bit different for a fall card, right, with the blues. This piece of designer series paper is the plaid tidings. It is three by four. Then I've got a piece that's three quarters by four, and I've got a piece of bumblebee. This is two by four and a quarter, and a little piece for the tag that is three quarters by two and a half. And we have a new die cutting machine in town. If you did not see my video on Wednesday, I highly encourage you to go watch it. You'll find it on my blog. This is our new big shot, and I have to say that I really do love it. I love that the sides close up for compact storage. I love the handle. I think it's just like my little, um, it's my newest little boss. That's what I'm going to call it. It does die cutting and embossing. Now, it comes with a whole bunch of plates, so you don't need to order anything additional to get started with die cutting or with embossing folders. And the platforms tell you the stacking order, and I love that it numbers them here because the plates are all numbered also, which makes things super easy, right? So plate number one goes down here, and according to the instructions right here, whoops, right here, we're, do, we're gonna be using a standard embossing folder. I chose this pattern from the Wrapped in Texture mini embossing folders. You get both of these in a pack for $8. These are both in our holiday mini catalog, which means they're only going to be available until January 4th or while supplies last. So I'm going to be using this one. And where did my, here's my bumblebee layer. This is that layer that's two by four and a quarter. And I'm going to emboss this. This tells me that I need a plate number three on here. Then my embossing folder and my cardstock and another plate number three. I also like this embossing machine because you have a little bit of play in here so those bigger folders aren't going to get chewed up on the edges unless you're really not paying attention, which I've done. Have you done that? I think we all have. And you're like, oh my gosh, I just chewed up the whole edge of my embossing folder. It doesn't hurt it. But I know there are some things we like to keep nice, right? Isn't that cool? I just love that it's a really little pattern. It looks kind of like a basket weave. Then we are going to, oh, first thing I wanna do, where did my twine go? I've got nine inches of this striped baker's twine. And I want to take that, I've got my bumblebee ink pad here. 
And I'm just gonna grab a wedge of a Stampin' Sponge. I like to use these to sponge on cardstock. Now I'm going to sponge on my twine because I love that this is black and white. I always love the black and white striped, but when it's got white as one of the colors, you can make this absolutely any color you want. And I wanted to do this first so it has time for the ink to dry so I don't get it all over the place. And again, this is a nine inch piece and we're gonna tie this up in a bow and put it on our card. So, isn't that cool? Any color you have ink, you can make that. All right, I've got a scrap of Whisper White here. I'm gonna use my Memento black ink pad and grab the little stamp that has the owl in the tree with the spider. And we're gonna stamp that. And then we're going to stamp it again. We need two of these. Okay, I'm gonna take the biggest window here and, okay, I want that to be at the top, so um, let's see, we're going to go like this. I'm going to take my biggest one here and I want to make sure that that tree is kind of going off the bottom here. I'm going to die cut this. I'm bringing in three Stampin' Blend markers. We have the Dark Daffodil Delight, the Light and the Dark Crumb Cake, and also the Light Basic, or I'm sorry, whoops, I need the black one. Hang on. Here we go. Light bl Basic Black. So I am going to color in my little spider. Let me see if I can zoom my camera in for you. I always forget to zoom it back out, so let's keep our fingers crossed that I remember to do that. Now I'm going to take my Daffodil Delight and color the little beak and his little feet. And then I've got the light and the dark crumb cake. And I always like to use my dark blends first and then come in with that light blend and do my blending. Now, if you don't have any Stampin' Blends, I highly recommend these markers. They really make you look like an artist. But I also want you to get a color lifter with it because if you go out of the lines or you would like to highlight or take some color off of what you did to give it kind of a highlight in the center of let's say an apple or something like that, the color lifter is your best friend. Or if you go out of the lines because I have cleaned up a lot of mistakes with that color lifter. And I'm just basically coloring these trees Oh, I don't need to color. Oh yeah, I do. Oh, I didn't need to color the trees. So you'll see in a minute why I didn't need to color the trees. I'm going to color this tree. One of these is going to get put on the tag. So it's going to be like the background and the other one is going to die cut the owl in the spider. And I kind of forgot about that. So this is easy to color. I'll just do another one here. No biggie. Now, when you're doing tiny little lines like this with the Stampin' Blends, these ends are a little bit thicker, so you have to use a very light touch. That's how I do it, and oops, it works out really good for me. Let's see if I can color a little nicer, right? And then we have the lighter one, and I'm going to come in, and I kind of like to go around where I haven't colored yet that I want filled in, like... Do the outlines of stuff so you can then start blending. And you can see here, you can see how kind of dark and light the lines are very defined. But as you keep coloring, it blends those, the definition between the light and the dark so that it looks like it's really nicely shaded and you are a superstar artist. And I love that. Love, love, love it. Okay, so we've got that done. Now we're gonna do our dies. What I'm gonna do here is I am going to die cut the tag and then we are going to die cut 
the owl and the little spider over here. So let's get that machine back in here. Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine is a magnetic plate. And this thing is wonderful because the entire surface is magnetic. You want to cut on this side, which is the self-healing side. So when your die cuts into it, it will like fill back in, okay? Now, I can see that according to, whoops, see, I told you, I always forget to zoom back in. Okay, so let's see if I can do that again. Sorry, you guys. This is the magnetic plate. You cut on this side, which has a self-healing mat. This is the entire magnetic surface. Okay, I just brought in my die cutting plate. That's going to go on top of number one platform. Number two is the die cutting plate. And then we are going to, we are going to put on our plate number five. That's our magnetic plate. And that's going to hold those dies in place. And if you've used the um, magnetic plate that we used to sell, you know that it had magnets in various places on the plate. And you would set a die down and it would wiggle over due to the magnetic magic. Well, with this one, the entire plate is magnetic, so it doesn't jump around like that, which is, oh my gosh, so amazing, right? And then we're going to go right over here. I'm going to see how close to the edge. Okay, so the stitching is right up at the edge. I'm just trying to place this where I need it to be. Okay, and then you're going to need one of your number three cutting plates. So we've got number one, number two, number five is the magnetic plate, and number three is a cutting plate or a clear plate. This thing rolls through like butter. I love it. Let's see how we did. Look at how cute the tag is. I love this. Isn't that sweet? And then we've got, let me put those dies away. Here's our little owl. Super cute. And our little spider. So I'm just going to set that down there. Throw the bits and pieces on the floor. Isn't that terrible? Yeah, well, I vacuum a lot in my office. Do you guys vacuum a lot? Because it gets pretty messy, right? Here comes our little label. And I'm going to grab the greeting that says, Have a Hoot on Halloween. I'm going to stamp that right in the middle. And then I'm going to use the Banner Pick-A-Punch. Now, if you don't have this, I highly recommend it. It's an awesome little punch. It does a banner divot or like an arrow. And you've got three different channels here, half inch, three quarter, and one inch. So you can make six different size of banners. I like to put mine in here. Oops. I'm going to slide it all the way in. And I like to turn it over so I can see what's happening. I'm going to pull this back just a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to add it in the other way. If you put it face down, you can see if you get into your words on the other side so that you don't punch your words off, right? And I just like to kind of see that it's centered in there. Oh, I just put it in the wrong side, you guys. Woo! Saved myself. There we go. I'm doing this side. And that looks good. And look at how nice that is. Okay. We've got our four by five and a quarter inch layer for the inside. I am going to keep it sweet, short and sweet, with a little boo. Boo! That's it. I'm going to have lots of room to write in here. Maybe I'll send this little card to little Miss Val. Of course, she can't read or anything, but her mom and dad will like it. And I'm sure they'll put it in her keepsake box. Cards from Granny, right? And this is that three-quarter inch, a three-quarter inch piece of the designer series paper. And I always make those, I always cut them just a little bit long, so trim it off a little bit. And now I'm going to get that out of my way and bring in the pretty peacock. 
because I decided that on our card base, I wanted a little bit of decoration, but I wasn't really sure what to do. So let me clean my boo stamp here. And any time that I have a situation like that, I don't have a background stamp in this set, okay? There's not really a background. I like to use words, and I think that is a great way to be able to use your entire stamp set. You don't need a lot of fuss to go with this because everything is all in one set. And that way you don't have to go, but Kelly, if I buy that set, I can't buy that other set. So I'm making cards for you so that you can recreate them with like a single bundle. I tend to tend to operate that way. So all I'm doing is taking my pretty peacock ink and then I'm going to see, yep, I did pretty good here, right? I just wanted to make sure that I had enough booze on here. Booze, not booze, B-O-O-Z-E. We're not drinking today. <laughs> Although margarita would be nice. But booze as in B-O-O, -O. maybe apostrophe S, there you go. Okay, so we're gonna put this right in the center. And then I'm going to bring the designer series paper in here, which matches oh so pretty. That's just one of the things I really love about Stampin' Up's designer series paper is that it coordinates. And they put the color coordination together for us, which makes my job a lot easier. We're gonna take this little tag and now we're going to add our die cuts that we die cut already. And I'm going to put those on mini dimensional. And I think I'm gonna need to cut just a little bit of one for my spider because a whole mini dimensional would be a little too big. Oops. You know what I like to do with these is use my take your pick tool because you can just you have a little bit more control over the placement and I just find it easier and you can even pick it back up I'm gonna put my little spider right on my tag just like that here comes my cutie patootie little owl oh my gosh this is so sweet now I felt like I needed a little ribbon or something and that's where this colored twine comes in. So I am going to tie a bow. If you don't have one of these, just tie a bow. I just use this because it's easier for me and I'm used to it. It's my little bow. And I'm gonna grab a mini glue dot. I love to use my take your pick tool for that also. And I'm gonna kind of curl it up a little bit because um, Baker's twine is pretty fine, right? Just gonna put it right above that tag and add oops, my baker's twine right there. <laughs> I keep rolling it around. Ah, there we go. And how about some dimensionals here? I'm gonna use regular size dimensionals because this is a little bigger layer. Get my oh, get my hair out of here. Is anybody else shedding right now? Holy cow, I feel like a dog. <laughs> Here comes our little tag on there. And those dimensionals really just add that little extra charm by popping it up like that. And our Have a Hoot banner. And I'm going to put that right in here. Here comes our inside. Now this is a great layout for a card. Whether you are into Halloween or you just want to use it for a fall card, you could certainly put a pumpkin right here um, from a different set or a different die or whatever. Any of it would be really cute. But I love this layout that two inch strip and then a three by four piece of designer paper is gonna be classic anytime, right? Now, the kit that I have with the online class has my other card, my two cards, I'm making a Halloween card and a Christmas card. 
and um, I'm pretty sure that Ashley is going to make one or the other Halloween or Christmas and then I think she's thinking about making a card that is an all occasion that's not Halloween or Christmas so you get a lot of good ideas to use with your bundle when you order this kit. The other thing that I wanted to share with you here's another card that I made using the Have a Hoot so here's another idea if you decide to get this bundle. And look at, here's those tags for a peekaboo window and all the little images there for Halloween. I also use the cobwebs embossing folder. I hope you can see that and our black glitter ribbon with the black glitter paper for that spider web that is in the peekahoot dies. Isn't that sweet? So you've got these two ideas. This is number three idea. There's gonna be four more ideas for cards, so that'll be a total of seven, plus two ideas for the tin that I'm including as kind of a bonus. So that's eight, nine, plus Ashley's blog hop card, which is gonna be number 10. Holy cow, 10 different ideas, have a hoot, super cute, super fun kit class. Now Sunday night from my Facebook Live, I am going to be featuring a Christmas card gift card holder with this bundle. So make sure you check that out. And if you would like to get your hands on this kit, you can go to www.estampabub.com. In the right hand column, you're going to find online classes. When you click on that, you're going to scroll down until you see the Have a Hoot kit class. There's going to be a form there for you to fill out. You're going to click on that link, fill out the form. I will then email you a PayPal invoice. And I want to tell you, I'm going to be gone this weekend. So um, if I don't get a chance to get those PayPal invoices out over the weekend, I will get them out Monday. So I just don't want you to be alarmed that you're not seeing an invoice come for me. I try to be Johnny on the spot with those, but sometimes I might take a day or two before I get to the invoicing part of it. This kit is going to be so much fun. Now, make sure you head right up here. This link is going to take you to my blog where you are going to find a link to go to Ashley's blog and see the ideas that she's sharing with you today. She's very talented. If you are in Canada, you can place an order for the kit with Ashley. If you're in the United States, you order with me, Kelly Atchison. Click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't want to miss anything I have coming out. And I hope I see you Sunday night for Facebook Live. Here's my Facebook page. Just head over there on Facebook. 7 p.m. Central Time for a super fun class. I'm going to be making an envelope to go with the Slimline card. These are all the rage right now. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.